Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make persimmon cinnamon rolls in the instant pot. So if you guys want to know how to make this, please hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. So I actually got this idea from a post that I saw on Facebook. Someone was making actual cinnamon rolls, like handmade cinnamon rolls, and I wanted to find an easier version of this. And so I tried this and it actually came out okay. But I mean, I'm going to let you guys know in the beginning or right through this whole thing. It's not going to look exactly the same way as cinnamon rolls because we're putting it in the instant pot rather than baking it. Okay, moving right along here. For those of you that don't know how to cut persimmons, this is how to do it. Well, this is how I do it. I just cut it into fours. And I'm going to break it apart and see the little bit of a pale color, the lighter color that doesn't match the rest of the orangey color of the persimmon. I'm going to cut that right out. See how I cut that just a little bit, just wherever that little triangle piece of it is. And all I'm going to do is just remove the skin off of it as well. When you cut the skin off of this, make sure you're not cutting off too much of the fruit, the meat of it, you know. You want to keep all that, just cut off a, a thin layer amount or as thin as you can get it. And that's all you really need to do. So let me show you guys again, the white-ish part, the lighter color part. Just cut that little bit out and again removing the skin off of the entire thing. Now for some people, they like the skin on the whole entire persimmon and they eat it all. And I've tried it and it's not my thing. But if you like it, I mean, I wouldn't recommend it for this particular recipe. But some people eat it with the skin and some people don't. I'm just one of those people that happen to not like it with the skin. Um, my daughter doesn't really care. She'll eat it both ways. But, you know, the skin is supposed to have all of the vitamins and whatever it is that you need for all the nutrients that you can get out of it. But it leaves like a dry aftertaste or something of the sort, you know? I guess that's uh, just how your preference is or how your palate is. But, okay, going back to this. Again, just cut off that little light uh, the light colored part of the persimmon and remove the skin and we're going to do this to all five persimmons. Now that we have all of them nicely peeled and all the little light colors just removed, go ahead and just chop these up into like little smaller bite sized pieces instead of large chunks just so you can get a good bite of it in every single bite of the actual cinnamon roll we're going to bake. And basically I just cut all of mine in half so you can see that I just pulled one out and just cut it in half and then I'm going to put my, you see that, my springform pan right on top just to make sure I had enough persimmon to cover it and that's all you really need to do. Now, I know this is going to seem like a lot of butter for a lot of you, but you're not eating the whole thing. Well, most of you might not be eating the whole thing, <laughs> but all we're going to do is just melt this butter right inside of the pan. It's a whole entire half of, a, half a cup I believe, of butter and we're just going to melt it all and then we're going to add um, a half a cup of sugar as well. Now I am using Splenda with mine and it doesn't melt as nicely as sugar would and you're gonna see that when you see this video go along but I'm just letting you guys know that in advance. But while the pan is going let me show you with the springform pan what we're gonna do. If you have parchment paper use that but I did not. I thought I did but I did not so I'm just gonna use aluminum foil for mine. Just cut out a sheet of it put your bottom of the springform pan down and then close it right back up and just smooth out the aluminum foil that's inside of your pan. You'll see right here in the video what I'm doing. And because of all the butter that we're using, this is why we need this to try to help prevent it from dripping so much. And we're just going to try to catch a little bit of it and keep it a little bit tighter. As you guys can see, it's still melting away and the sugar is still in there and we're still going to let it do its own magical thing over there. And like I said, you can see right here, it doesn't dissolve as nicely with Splenda. Usually Splenda has always baked very well for me, but this, I don't know, today it just didn't work out for me. I don't know why, but today it just didn't work. But if you use regular sugar, I'm sure that'll work just fine. Now that everything's nicely mixed, go ahead and throw all of your persimmon right into the pan. And I know it's gonna look like a lot, just go with me on all of this. We are gonna let this saute for about three to five minutes, just to make sure it's nice and mushy and it's cooked through. If you don't wanna use persimmon, by the way, you guys can use apples, you can use peas, you can use whatever whatever other fruit it is that you prefer but I happen to have these persimmons and I wanted to use them. 
know I am adding cinnamon into mine. You can add cinnamon, you can add some nutmeg if you like. You can split it between half and half, half teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg if you'd like. Whatever you prefer, I'm just doing a little bit of cinnamon because we are already using cinnamon rolls that you see right here. So I don't feel like I needed to add more than that. Since it is for the Instant Pot and the Springform Pan is smaller, all we need is one can of this. All right, so all we're gonna do is bust this sucker right open and you see how the cinnamon rolls are already rolled up like this. But well, what we're gonna do is try to make one giant cinnamon roll. So I'm just gonna let you guys view this part. There's not much to me having to talk through it because I mean, it's just really trying to unroll it and then add it on and continuing, continuing to do the same thing with every individual roll. You'll see it in this video. Alright, we're almost done here. So going back into our pan, if you can tell I did spray it. Why? I don't know. I just felt like just in case something sticks to it, I don't want anything to stick. <laughs> I don't think you actually need to do it, but I did it anyways. But I went ahead and put everything on the bottom here. All that butter and all that persimmon that you see there. Put it on the bottom and then go ahead and add your cinnamon roll right on top. That one roll, that one can, look at that. Fits nicely right here because it should expand a little bit while it's cooking, right? All right, since we are making this in the Instant Pot and you guys should know by now, if, we're, if you've been watching me and you guys know and if you've been baking, it gets moist in there because of all the water because it is in the Instant Pot as a pressure cooker. So we're gonna put the napkin in there to try to capture some of that moisture, add the aluminum foil on top and seal it tightly as you can make your sling. I've shown you guys in several videos, just make one long enough where it's going to be able to sit right in between your springform pan and you can hold it up with the edges of the sling of it. You see what I'm doing here? That's all we're going to do. And that's all you need to do and you just throw it into your Instant Pot. Oh, actually, I did go ahead and add one and a half cups of water into the bottom of the Instant Pot. So make sure you guys go ahead and do that as well. You can see that if I move this around, you can see the water moving. Here you go. I am putting it on top of my egg rack so that I can, you know, so that nothing hits on the bottom of it so it doesn't take any more moisture than it should. And we're just going to let it sit right on top, put down our little handles, put our lid back right on top. Make sure you close it nice and tightly, seal it, and in the back of it, make sure it is sealed. Don't put it on the open venting part on this one. We're just going to seal it all the way and then we are going to pressure cook this. And yes, we are cooking it for 45 minutes on high pressure and when it's done, let it naturally release by itself. Don't do anything else with it. Don't press any, don't, don't open up the vent in the back and we're gonna let it sit there for 15 minutes. And once that 15 minutes is up, 15 minutes is up, whoo, can't talk. Let's go ahead and put the uh, release of the vent and then we're gonna let that release for a while and then take everything out right after. Couldn't talk and think there for a second, my goodness. Okay, so use those handles that we made and we're gonna pull that sucker right out and we are going to let it sit there and cool off. And we're gonna check on this so you guys see everything. Just watch the video. <laughs> this is where I don't want you guys to be startled. Look at that, okay? This is how it looks. It's not as brown as it would look when it comes right out of the oven because it's been pressure cooking in your Instant Pot. So it's a different thing. It doesn't brown because we don't have the heat right on top of it. But we're gonna flip it upside down just like this so it doesn't even really matter. So here we have it. I have already sliced it up. And that can of icing that comes in your Pillsbury can of 
cinnamon rolls, go ahead and just drizzle some on there. Now, according to my husband, it is too sweet. It overpowers the taste of the actual persimmon with the cinnamon rolls, and he did not like it. My daughters, on the other hand, they, they love the sweetness. They loved all of it. Let me correct that, not my daughters. It was just my one daughter. She loved it because do you know why this one piece right here? I gave it to my husband and he ate it and that's how he could tell me all what his opinions were. The rest of that you see right here, my daughter, my oldest daughter, ate all of that all by herself. So I guess she really did like it. So if you guys like this recipe, please hit that subscribe button, like it, share it, and have a happy Thanksgiving, you guys. Thank you for watching. Watch me cook.